Your dreams are not fantasies. They are blueprints for your desired reality. Embrace your power. Align with your truth and watch the miracles unfold. You are the creator of your destiny and the universe is waiting to respond to your call. You're here judging yourself after five weeks, getting all up in your head and emotional about things, just giving up again. Relax, take a deep breath and align. If you're giving up this quickly, then you're not embodying the wish fulfilled. Your affirmations are not committed. And that lack of faith is why you're not manifesting faster. Are you struggling to manifest your desires? Do you feel like something is holding you back, but you can't quite pinpoint what it is? Discover the one thing, the one thing that kills manifestations and how to overcome it. Your dreams are within your reach. Let's dive in. In this video, you want to know the mistake that most are making, judging their manifestations after three attempts, three days of affirming, judging their manifestations after maybe 30 days of visualizing, and it's not there. So they just give up. Judging your manifestations after visualizing for only a few short weeks, maybe even a few months, or even a year. Great manifestors like Neville Goddard and Joseph Murphy understood that patience was key. And you're here judging yourself after five weeks, getting all up in your head and emotional about things, just giving up again. Relax, take a deep breath and align. If you're giving up this quickly, then you're not embodying the wish fulfilled. Your affirmations are not committed. And that lack of faith is why you're not manifesting faster. This is a call to deepen your trust, to truly live in the state of having already received what you most desire. Take a step back. Isn't that one of the core premises of every single religion on the planet since the beginning of man? To have absolute faith in the face of reality, regardless of what is presented to you, faith must come from within or else nothing ever will change for your entire life. Tell me I'm wrong. We must step back from all the pressure, all the struggling, and all the automatic quick reactions. This journey does take time considering that we are living in a three-dimensional world. Manifesting is a marathon, not a sprint. It's a dance with the universe, not a race. The sooner that you can bridge the gap between intense desire and not caring when you have it because you feel so good from the feeling of having it already and persisting in that new assumption, it has to manifest every time. If you are really being honest with yourself, that's always how you have manifested your entire life. Just some of it's been things you didn't want to happen. You have to understand you are already an expert manifester. You already know how to manifest like a professional athlete trained in visualization 30 years ago. You just aren't willing to believe it. You would rather blame your job, blame your spouse, blame the whole freaking world or blame some other country. How disempowering is that? Take responsibility and your manifesting will happen faster and faster. You just need to practice. You want to live in the end. You're not looking for a new girlfriend. You already have one. Stop scrolling through Tinder or whatever popular 
trolly dating app is out there, the simple fact that you're scrolling is affirming that she's not already here. Your literal action in combination with your visual audio sensory experience, scrolling, bored and depressed and lonely, that's why she's not there. Not because there's not any good women out there and not because you're damaged. You don't need to be looking for the next job. Try loving the one you're in and being open that maybe you're exactly where you need to be. Then let the new job show up, the new position. Maybe you might lose the job you're in and get offered a brand new one, double the salary in a week or two. But you're too obsessively looking and telling yourself that you can't do it. And your persistent thoughts of how awful your job is. That's why you're not succeeding. The actions you're taking can only go so far. If you are sabotaging yourself, at an unconscious level, you're already screwed. Listen, I'm not saying don't take action. I am saying feel like you already have what you desire as you take action. Is that really so impossible to conceive? You might as well enjoy what you're doing while you do it. It's pretty simple if you just allow yourself to believe that. Believe that everything is working out for you and your desires are chasing you versus you chasing them and everything's not working out for you. Even if I'm crazy and delusional and wrong, you're going to feel a whole lot better than doing what you have been doing. Don't you think? Embrace the parallel reality where you already have your wish fulfilled and then operate from that place as you move around the world. Abraham Hicks beautifully said, the universe is not punishing you or blessing you. The universe is just responding to the vibrational attitude that you are emitting. Let this be a reminder to approach manifestation with grace, with patience and unwavering faith. So are you ready to transform your life and manifest your deepest desires, whether you're going through a bad breakup, a high conflict divorce, or just trying to get your life back together? Join the Manifesting Miracles Academy and the Divorce Decision Maker Mastery today. Embark on a journey of self-discovery, empowerment, and fulfillment. Click the link below in my description and let's get started now, stop waiting. Your dreams are not fantasies. They are blueprints for your desired perfect reality. Embrace your power, align with your truth, and watch the miracles unfold. You are the creator of your destiny, and the universe is waiting to respond to your call. So let's manifest greatness together. You are sacred, you are worthy, and you are love. Cheers.